Hello guys, I'm, uh, I wanted to show off my project. It's a uh, traffic light with sensors. I'm going to be showing you how to work it and I'll put everything that I did for it uh, so you can, so you guys can work on it, improve on it. Let me know how it goes. I'm using a <clears throat> um, interface, LabVIEW interface for Arduino for this project. Uh, I'm assuming you guys know how to start everything. So I'll just go ahead and run my program. I'm assuming you guys know like you need to uh, upload the base, the base code for for the Arduino. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using Arduino Uno, uh, zero port. Com five and loading it. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. Uh, my team and I ended up doing a, a little design for it. Uh, this is the roads. It's a three-way uh, intersection. We created the. Uh, we're using LEDs to represent the traffic lights. We have sensors over here. These are the HC SR04 ultrasonic sensors. Um, okay. So over here I have my breadboard with my Arduino Uno and everything's connected. I'll show you the schematics in a little bit. I'm using the Arduino Uno. For this, I'm using uh, five volts and ground for the um, LEDs where they go, and the ports. I'm using all the ports from uh, two all the way to thirteen to represent all this ones using the sensors. Okay, so after you load the base, you open your lab view, and this is what mine looks like. My front panel, I created similar to my schematics my design and this is the uh, block diagram um, like I said I'm assuming you guys are s at least familiar with uh, uh, lab view for Arduino the interfacing uh, I'm using I'm actually using uh, COM5 the baud rate it's 1152000 the control is uh, Arduino Uno. I'm using USB. I have all the ports over here. I'm using port uh, pins 2 to 8 as outputs and then also 11 and what is it? Yeah, 11 and 12. I'm sorry, 10 and 12. And then 9, 11, and 13 are inputs. Um, I found online this one. This is for the this BI. It's for the the sensors. Uh, somebody else uh, was kind enough to make it and post it online. I found that it helped me a lot. Uh, which uh, the sensors uses a uh, BCC five volts and then ground and then it has two of the pins, which is the trigger and the echo. Uh, the trigger I'm using uh, pin uh, pins eight, ten, and twelve, and the echo is pins nine, eleven, and thirteen. Uh, everything is connected. I have the pins over here to write to the pins as, uh, for the LEDs. You close it over here. The loop uh, I'm using for for the case. I'm using case structures to generate all the sequences. Um, over here, this means that uh, if the sensor detects anything within five uh, centimeters, the output of the, of this one, it's um, it's in centimeters. It gives you the distance. So let me show you real quick over here. If you open the help, once you go over uh, the VI, it shows you it has a uh, it has a trigger pin, it has echo, and then this uh, it outputs distance in centimeters. So I have it set up to where if the distance is in um, 
less than five centimeters if something blocks uh, within five centimeters it will it will send a signal to my case structure which is gonna tell the the light to switch to green okay so let me show you my structures you start with uh, red green um, if it's true I'll post all this online if it's true uh, if the sensor gets activated it's gonna autom it's gonna quickly send it to to red yellow and then if it's false it's gonna keep it's gonna stay on the red green uh, this is the um, values for the LEDs and then it goes to the to the Arduino I'm using the delay of two seconds on all of them so you go to the next state it's uh, it's pretty much the same thing I'm using uh, it's gonna stay the lights gonna say green for eight seconds but I divided it up in four steps so my so my sensors keep checking if uh, every two seconds so same thing over here if the sensor gets activated uh, it's gonna send it it's gonna send to red green all the cases this one is the same thing it just moves to the next case R RG3 it's a little bit different since this is the last one on the case uh, it doesn't matter uh, after this it's gonna switch to red yellow so this one is pretty simple it switches to red yellow uh, it stays there for two seconds it goes to the next one um, for two seconds this is at red yellow and then it goes red red I added a um, a half a second delay to where both lights are red uh, from this the next step it's uh, the opposite green red and then it's uh, the same the same sequence it's just uh, going to yellow red uh, everything's for two seconds you can see the the outputs this one goes to yellow red and then from here uh, it's getting the next state it's um, red red <clears throat> again for uh, half a second uh, and then it starts back again it goes to red green the initial or initial value uh, this is a uh, ship register that I'm using to control the next state uh, and that's pretty much it uh, I have a picture of uh, what my schematics on Arduino look like hopefully that's big enough for you to see uh, these are my sensors um, uh, I don't know if you can see VCC trick uh, the trigger echo and ground and there they all are uh, connected in the order in the pins that I have them just like on the on lab view I have the LEDs over here uh, for the three lights um, as you saw I only have two sets uh, of outputs and for here since it's the same road I'm using this one is the same as that one I'm using a hundred uh, ohm resistors going to the ground um, and this is the other light the bottom line the three sensors uh, that's how it's set up now if I go to here to run the program hopefully it hasn't given me any problems I'll go ahead and um, display it run it and then I'll show you in the camera what it looks like when it's running at the same time so there it goes it's uh, since nothing on the it's on the sensors is waiting for eight seconds till we switch to the next day for two seconds and then uh, if you guys saw that little delay of half a second at red red and then it switches to the next one and it's the same thing for eight seconds it switches yellow it switches red red and then it switches now as you can hopefully see this one is going at the same pace as um, uh, the lab view okay so there he goes now I have my I have my cars that are going to go into the first sensor say here get some place 
and then he w it's gonna wait for two seconds his switch now if you put it on the other side same thing it's not gonna be it's not gonna stay there for the eight seconds uh, it's gonna switch faster okay now it gave me a problem uh, let's see here it switch faster now again sometimes it has like a little glitch uh, so if you put it right before he switches it's gonna detect it from the beginning and it should switch between two seconds like it did now so that's basically how it works